Yeah. All right. Here we go. Dance about me. Yeah, yeah. I get so caught up that you want me. All right. So it says, well, let me see. Maybe I could do this without my sweater. Ugh. And hey there. Try to keep up, okay? So the first thing is heat oil and broth in a large pot. Here's a large pot. I'll try broth, I guess. I've not had any good experiences with purchasing broth recently, but wait, is this one open? Yeah, okay. All right. I yeah, it's like saute onions and broth. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, oh, I guess I gotta cut the onions. So <laughs> cut the onions. Cut. Oh, Dale. Got a big fat onion here. <sighs> hey, buddy. All right, so I gotta get something to cut the onions with. I don't have my knife. Oh, thanks for watching my shoes. I don't know what to cut onions with. Oh my gosh. Watch out. <laughs> Trying to be silent. Huh? I'm trying to be silent. <laughs> what? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> trick you. I trick you! Alright. Alright, so. Ah. I'm telling you. So we are. I'm showing by. We're gonna do a bite. We're hanging out. And I'm saying that it would be cool because I found some software that I could show you two angles at once. Because, like, I know somebody said that when I did my pore painting that they wished that they could see me. And it's like, yeah, but I really wanted to show the tech. What I was doing was more important. But it would be awesome to have both in live streaming. Because I know you could do it in editing. But... Um, I'm more into live streaming than I am into editing and post-production and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. You guys, anybody that's watched my last few videos knows this spiel. But, so yeah, I'm going to open a Patreon, Patreon and then we can um, hang out more because I need more, um, I need help to get, you know, so I can share more pretty much. Bring it to the next level. Let's bring it to the next level together. So I'm cutting up this onion. Well, actually right now I'm peeling it. And I don't know, like, my fingernails are icky. I don't want to, oh well. Um, I washed my hands. I just didn't scrub underneath my fingernails because I'm a, a heathen or just a savage, really. Didn't they tell you that I was a savage? All right. Wow. So four minutes in and we haven't even started. Okay, it says heat the oil. I could heat it, maybe. I'll start heating it. So I'm starting the first instructions. I'm going to heat the oil and then add onions. All right, here we go. So we're... And I don't, I don't feel like I have to do them too skinny because it's just going to... Actually, onion chunks, cooked onion chunks in a soup doesn't sound so bad when I mean, they're really soft, you know? Sometimes I'll cook my, I'll cut my onions real skinny, but that's when I'm going to eat them raw, like in a, guacam in a guacamole. Like yesterday, we had a garlic mole.
Uh, this is so weird because it it hurts because it's not my it's not my knife. It's a weird shape. Yeah, I'm glad you guys aren't seeing my hands. Okay, but so this is about this this is about this is how why is it so dark over here? It's like weird lighting. Ah, I can't get it too close to my eyes. All right, there's a whole bunch of onions up in here. I don't know why I did that. I do not like onions pulling the water out of my eyes. Okay, so that says about five minutes. Oh, but then I'm gonna have to add the garlic and it calls for three garlic cloves. So I'm gonna put like four or five, maybe more. And luckily I have five minutes because apparently that's how long it takes me to do one thing. So while those are in there, now I'm doing two things in five minutes. So I guess really it takes me two and a half minutes to do one thing if I do two things at once. Hmm. Okay. So add garlic. So, oh, but it says to mince it. Same thing with the garlic. I don't want to cut it too small because I don't want it to get burned or something. I don't know. I don't like it when it gets burned. It gets chewy. Okay, there's one. Oops. I wasn't supposed to put it in there. Ah. See? See what happens when you don't watch it live? You can't help me from... You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Uh-uh. Got my paints in the background there. All right, so help me follow instructions now. I'm gonna mince the uh, mince the garlic with this knife that is apparently made for something else. I don't know what. I'm in the market for another knife. I don't even know what kind of knife was that. Awesome. Do you know? No. What shape? I don't know. It's like it's like a mini butcher knife. It's like shaped kind of like a butcher knife, right? But it was smaller. Cause it, it, cause this one's so. It's like I think this is a steak knife. This is not a mincing knife. Oh, here we go. But this is the same thing. It's so short. So I'll just keep using this. Oh, it's kind of like that shape. Yeah. It looked like this, ex except it's not as cool. Mm -hmm. This one's not as cool. Was it, whatever shape that is. I like that because see how this part goes up instead of it being the same. So yeah, this one, it's like hardly. All right. Toss your onions or mix them or whatever. This is nice, I have a timer to show me how slow I am. Three minutes later and I've only cut one garlic. <laughs> awesome, all right. Yeah, it's not minced. Ow, okay, there goes my finger. Don't worry. I think blood has like protein in it and stuff, so, and iron. But if I'm, if I'm eating my own blood in my meal, I'm probably not getting any extra iron. Well, I'm getting the extra iron that I'm going to lose from my finger being cut. Just kidding. I'm okay. All right. So do to do, do now remember that I I'm slow <laughs> and you could do this much faster. <laughs> Because you're not going to be distracted by you, like I am. You see what I mean? So, don't think that this is an inconvenient meal because it takes me hours to make something that takes normal people 25 minutes. Uh, maybe I should have cut the onions a little bit because they're not even... I didn't even really chop it. I just 
cut it. I just don't have the patience for this cutting thing without my knife. Uh, how do you like looking at the side of my head there? Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I can use to, because they have they have a smooth the smooth thing. I'm not sure. Um, okay, that's two and three. Uh oh, it's been five minutes and I didn't put my garlics in. No, but I only made three and I wanted to make more than three because I need the boost, man. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty low energy right now. My energy's going towards, well, talking to you and healing. <laughs> no, that's why I'm gonna enjoy this meal without ya. And just so we can hang out, I forgot about my studies. I study every day at seven, every weekday at 7.30. Hmm. Do you guys want to study with me? All right. Oh, it changed the camera. Or it turned off. Okay. You can study with me. Hopefully, uh. Hopefully we, are, we don't get muted out. Oh. Must be the beginning of the puzzle. Oh, it's people. Hey, it's couples. Yeah. I want to go with my dad. Or pairs, or whatever. But the, the people I saw just happen to look like a couple. Two eyes. Team wheel, huh? Team wheel. What are you doing? And two O's. There's an O on the on? Yep. Oh, it could have been an A, I guess. Alright, it says to saute it for five minutes. Cook until soft about five minutes. All right. So this is the, I don't know what is, fourth, fifth. Oh. Give them the wild card, lady. <coughs> they must say they hit the bankrupt. So this is my sorry uh, excuse for mincing garlic when I don't have my knife. It's chunky. Let's put this in the pot here. And for another two minutes. So it says add cauliflower. Broth, water, and spices. Yay, here's the fun part. Well. Okay, it says to saute that for another one to two minutes. But I gotta do the cauliflower, so pretty much whenever that's done. Mm, the onions are starting to smell good. All right. Nice head of broccoli. I thought she said D, so. Alright. Now we're over here. And. Feasting on the gourmet, on gourmet delights. My dog loves this. He, no, like seriously? You think I'm kidding? Look at this guy. <laughs> he knows I have, I gotta rinse it off for you, buddy. He knows I have ca cauliflower and he's waiting for it. He's so funny. So I saved these parts for him. Whoops. 
Oh wow, prize puzzle already. Well, I missed four and a half puzzles. Ugh. All right. So none of my cauliflower goes to waste because you know they pay. The, you have, you pay for all of that. So this is what I'm actually gonna. And uh, no, I traveled all the way to Texas. I went, I went, I went like an hour away in Washington, and then I traveled to Texas, and I got back home, and I don't know where my knife is. I was looking for it in Texas when I was packing. I thought it was at my mom's house. <sighs> okay. You can tell I'm not feeling well because I, I don't usually get frustrated with this kind of stuff. But. <sighs> okay. So we're cutting. Oh, the, oh, all the food is annoying me. I just want to eat it. I don't want to make it. Right now, I don't feel well. It's okay. I will get better. This is what I'm doing. This is my medicine. I'm putting turmeric and extra extra garlic okay see now I'm using the knife that's shaped like my knife and it's way better experience for me I gotta say hi welcome thanks for joining I am cutting up the cauliflower right now kind of and sauteing garlic and onion or burning it. I don't know. I'm trying. See, this really, this, any of you could have done this in half this time. So just keep that in mind. As you can see, I'm not uh, a whiz in the kitchen, but I am art, an, a culinary artist, I suppose. So I'm cleaning it off in a colander and just if you have a veggie scrub, scrub brush, um, points of interest. So if you have a veggie scrub brush, that's even better. Okay, it says to add these in florets. Oy. Oh, they they didn't hardly have any time in that last puzzle. All right. So. Person. All right, let's go back over here. Ah, I wish I didn't miss this episode because... I wanted to see how the partners work together because my I want to go to this with my dad. All right, I did it. I did exactly what I didn't want to do, and I burned my freaking garlic. Gosh dang it! And that's because oil is better than this to saute stuff. It, this burns away. Ah. All right, so. <sighs> All that garlic, duh. I'm gonna probably cut some more up and put it in here because I need the garlic. All right, so you add that and the cauliflower and a half cup of water. This is more than a half cup. Yeah. Let's see. How do I know what a cup is? Oh, here we go. Uh, half cup. So I use uh, filtered water here out of a glass. Glass jug. All right. And 
So, it says, so we're gonna bring it high. And, um, bring to a boil. So spices are a half teaspoon of turmeric, half teaspoon of cumin, half teaspoon of cinnamon, and salt and pepper to taste. Let's see. They use, so I think, oh, this one says use half a cauliflower head. This one says use a head of cauliflower. Uh-oh. But this one uses four cups of vegetable broth, and this one only uses, I think I need more vegetable broth. I'm just going to get rid of it because it's the bane of my existence right now. Just kidding. Am I? Am I? There. All right. It looks so dark. Is it dark or is it just my phone? There we go. It's not. Okay, good. I thought it's just my screen. So. All right, bring that to a boil with oh half teaspoon of cumin. Which, I don't know where the teaspoons are. So, I don't have measuring stuff, so I'll just do this. It's too big. Cumin. Blood aisle. And it says cinnamon. Oh, cumin. I wasn't going to put the cumin in there. I forgot. Okay. So I am off my gut. But you know what I really want in it? Garlic. Pepper. Pepper. Put some pepper in it. Turmeric. All right. They're doing the last one. I put twice as much. I put a lot of turmeric. And salt. Salt and pepper to taste. It's an event. An event. Hell, heal, help, heard, hit, no. An event. Downpour, oh man. Dang, that was a good one. So, here's how it looks, and then what you do is, you bring it to a boil, and on high, bring it to a boil, and then you take an emergency an immersion blender and blend it about, uh, it says in 10 to 15 minutes. Um, in 10 to 15 minutes when the cauliflower is fork tender. So first you bring it to a boil and then lower the heat for about till the cauliflower is for then you put it, pour it all in or you take your immersion tool and you, your immersion blender and just, just blend it right up in there. And so I should be eating in, well, it says 10 to 15 minutes and then blend. 
so uh, me, I will probably be eating in about 45 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. No, not really, but probably. Hopefully not, because I was hoping to eat by 8, and it's already 7.55. So, all right. That's how you prepare it. I don't know if you all want to hang out with me while I wait. Wait for it. We could bring it to a complete, a complete full video. But this is where editing's nice because I could just get some footage, let it boil. So I got it on high. So I'm going to clean up for now. Ah. Because I made a freaking mess. So, uh, what's your experience making this stuff from scratch? And is it worth the time? I think it is definitely worth the time, especially when you learn it to dial it in or get um, get some quick and easy recipes from from other people. Like there isn't it's there's another recipe right here in the book. It's literally called Easy Cauliflower Soup. And so you just cut the cauliflower up, add the vegetable broth, four, or half a cup of raw cashews, and sea salt. You boil it and then add it to the blender. So, I mean, that if you want to make, make something from scratch, you know, you could do this easy cauliflower soup. Um, and, by the way, the, that, that was by Dr. Mitra Ray, and that's, that's in the Shred 10 Cook Guide. I could I could hook you up with that, but um, the just just to give a shout out to uh, recipe contributors Lindsay Surowitz. So thank you, Lindsay. I am very excited to um, oh, and then to garnish sliced almonds, a dash of turmeric, and red pepper flakes, and or so those are optional. So I'm just gonna keep on cleaning and tidying. Oh, there's so much stuff. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to dump this in the compost and then, hey, thanks for the thumbs up. Oh. Oh, I guess it was an accident. Because you took it away. <laughs> Throw that in the compost and then all this. I cut it up and my dog, my dog absolutely loves it. So I'm going to rinse these off for him. It's so crazy how much my dog just absolutely loves his, loves his cauliflowers. What is this? Oh, AGT. I don't think I'm going to watch this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. My study time is over. He's so excited. So, I mean, I'm serious. Just to, so you can understand the scope of his cauliflower addiction, love of this dog. We have four dogs here. This is the only dog in the kitchen right now. See? Because he wants this. BG, you don't even want it. Go, Dale. Go take your bro go take your cauliflower bone. Okay, BG, you want a cauliflower bone? <laughs> oh. 
Oh wait, the other two dogs are outside. They must be because only one other dog came. Oh, it's starting to boil. <gasps> Yay. So I'm gonna stop using this and use, uh, I don't know what's for the better. Uh, uh, how about this? Mm. The wood's like coming off of it. Hmm. Here we go. This is, this one's mine. I like this one. And it's just tall enough. So was I supposed to cover it? Do you remember? Oh, Dale, you need to go outside? What, Dale? What? Go outside, buddy! <sighs> oh, it is chilly. We got a fire pit out here now. Dale's going pee pee. I need not to be standing out here without a coat because I am fighting something off. But I also don't want to be like just totally like staying indoors and incubating, you know, like I literally never get sick when I'm outside, when I live outside. Okay, just kidding. I don't remember a winter that I got sick while I was living outside though. Just saying. I've only gotten sick in the winter living indoors. So maybe because I was living outside for so long that I I <coughs> hang out inside too much when I have the inside. You know, I just I really don't take it for granted all the the warmth and, and stuff. So let me see if I was if it says to cover it. Lower heat and simmer. It doesn't say cover, but why wouldn't I cover it? Why wouldn't I cover it? Ooh. It's not, it's not like a big boil yet, but it's getting there. I'm glad I added that extra stuff. And I'm so glad that there were other cauliflower recipes right next to it. I really love the turmeric color that this is making. Del Rio wants back in. Surprise, surprise. I can't wait to have, you know what would be even better than equipment for uh, the cameras and stuff? Would be a person. Um, once I reach amount, a certain amount of money or find an assistant that wants to go through this with me, man, we're, we're gonna, and I'll, I, it's like, I could film for you, you could film for me. Right person, I'm talking to somebody specific right now. The Changa to my Chimmy. <laughs> chimmy Changa. But we'll see when that happens. So, I wanted to put on something that made me feel kind of pretty. Um, look, my hair's hanging out. Nobody even tells me anything. Nobody, nobody, I need you to get my, don't you have my back? You gotta tell me when, like, hey, if you adjust your hair, it would look so much cuter. Guess what though? I knew that. I just didn't do it because, there we go. See, I like the way it looks like with all the hair in it. But um, this has like a, it's like sparkly. All right, so it is, See, closing it up helped it boil too, so there's a tip for you. All right, finished cleaning, because what would be really cool is before it's done, if I actually like am finished cleaning the kitchen and stuff, because then I won't have to clean anything except for my bowl and spoon that I eat with. Ah, oh, I guess in the pot. Well, no, because I might keep it in the pot. Oh, it's really starting to boil now. Oh, wow. 
Why did I do that? Okay. I don't tend to give Del Rio too many cauliflowers because I think it might give him give him the toots. I don't know. Oh wow! They're doing some really cool stuff on AGT right now. They're shadow. They're like shadow dancing. What? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I think I saw them on uh, on YouTube. Here's your blackie bone. Oh, she missed. That's so beautiful. I love different kinds of... All right, it is officially boiling. I am excited about something today, and that is my boiling pot. Oh, yeah. So, to a simmer. Low would be a simmer, I guess. So, I will put the timer on. 15 minutes. So like I said, the first 25 minutes, you could have probably done in like 10. And then, um, then it boils. And that took a little while. But I think, go ahead and cover it up right away. If you, I think that'll help it boil faster. And, all right. So let's go clean these mo mofo dishes all right <sighs> sorry about the glare sorry i'm not sorry is that better is that better i went when i rinse these out i rinse it out like it hurts my hand i don't think everybody does it like that and then i wring them out where they're really dry. Keeps them from getting mold, must, musty. All right. So, what are you gonna do tonight? I am eating dinner late, because I'm actually living my shred days or I'm doing my shred it days starting today. Um, and that's where I add more real food, uh, including 45, uh, 45 plants from plant powders, actually, in the form of powders, and um, add more real food and eliminate... Oh, add more real food, exercise daily, make sure you're getting plenty of water, plenty of rest, and seven to eight hours of sleep. Six is six to seven is good for me, usually, but I'll probably, I'm going to try to get that eight hours in, it's always nice. And then we just don't do caffeine, well, for people, for people who can't stop caffeine, they cut it down or they start preparing to cut it before the shred days or they use the shred days to cut it down for 10 days it's really up to the person and then no no artificial or artificial or refined sugars and no processed foods i think that's about it right so whole foods would be like like if you eat meat, like a whole food would be a piece of salmon. Not whole food would be canned minced tuna. Um, or a steak would be whole food and a, uh, and ground beef is processed, not whole food. So what I did today was I used all whole food in in my recipe and um you know all the spices are their spices are that i use are 
I like granulated spices, so or dehydrated, so they're just the spice just cut up. But I put whole garlic cloves, whole onions, whole, and I don't mean the whole thing, but I mean whole as in that's all the ingredient was. The whole whole cauliflowers, a um, little bit of vegetable broth. So. Um, and, and what really helps me is the cooking guide. So that it, it, it's been amazing journey for me. I, I cut, I shred, I shed it off like 15 or 20 pounds in like six, seven weeks. Do I think I, I think it was about, I think I got down like five pounds cause I was 20 pounds overweight. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to eat shred meals every day for December. So I did all shred meals. I did my 10 shred days every day. Except I don't always. Oh, that's the other thing. We're, we're encouraged to stop eating after 6. But um, it's late. I was in bed all day. Just trying, just resting and relaxing. So, um, but that's okay. I'm doing, I'm still, I'm doing a lot of the shred and that's why I like it because it's more of like a lifestyle choices. It's not like, it's not restrictive or some strict thing that I'm like, Oh, well, I guess, I guess I should just eat a bunch of candy now that I ate now that I didn't stick to it yet. You know, today. No, it's like, Oh, well, well, I, I, maybe I didn't sleep enough, you know, you know but I could do everything else. Speaking of which, been not talking to you nonstop for 41 minutes and I haven't even had a sip of water. This is my second one of these today, I think. Cute doesn't win games. That's right. But cute does win in life. <laughs> no. Does cute win in life? Well, I cleaned up my area. That feels good. And eight minutes left before I check to see if it's fork tender. So in the meantime, I'm going to get the immersion tool. I'm filling up my water my water bottle right now. See, it really helps though. Like, like I said, it won't take you as long to do because you don't have same. You don't live in the same realm that I'm living in. That kind of, I'm a little bit um, slower than I used to be. But and also, I'm going live and I'm sharing and talking and like not solely focused on the one task <clears throat> but um I forgot where I was going with that rewind it and see <sighs> all right let's go get the immersion tool Del Rio is still begging for cauliflowers Del wants some cauliflowers oh Del Rio the wheel. You're my favorite asbestos good buddy. <laughs> what you want, the wheel? I know what you want. I need to put the cauliflower away or he keeps asking for it. It's nuts. Let's see. There you go, go get go eat your bone. Him crunches is so good.
Okay, so okay. that is one thing that. I oh my gosh, I have three years now. Which one do? Which one to use? And they're all apart. Okay. Uh. Well, crud. I don't know where this goes. Oh, this one goes there. All right. No, do we have four? Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. At what point are four people going to be blending with an immersion tool? Like, and he was talking about getting rid of the the juicer the other day? It's like, no, we have one juicer. Keep it. Plus, like, he, this is so funny because he says that, like, he doesn't know it, but, like, right when I was thinking about, yeah, I'm, I see we have a juicer, so I want to go on a juice cleanse. So, I know, maybe next time I'll actually prep and all that before I get on here. And I thought about doing that, like, cutting everything up and prepping it and then just poop, poop, poop. But I just wanted to get to it, get to it, do it to it. It's not that I, that was totally overlooked. I just didn't do it that way this time. Because I do love to just like have everything all prepped beforehand. And then like when I get to that spot, be like, I got everything, bam, 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 like all my tools and everything. That's another type of cooking I could show you sometime because that's really my my style because there aren't surprises i go through the whole thing get everything is all set up and then oh yeah so four minutes so it's been in for 11 minutes and it said to see if it's fork tender 10 to 15 minutes if if your pot is if the top of the pot is hot use a pot holder and then before i take this off i there's going to be steam on it so i put it back in there so it right into the soup. Definitely needs some more time. It smells interesting. Oh, you know, you know what? I didn't put any cinnamon in it. Uh, I could use some cinnamon. I think it would be healthy for me. I thought there was cinnamon in here. Here it is. Ooh, it is hot. It's better with the. Ooh, that was a lot of cinnamon. All right, but you know what? I think the cinnamon will give it a unique. Whew, I don't know if that was a good choice. I mean, not measuring it. Oh, that gave it a totally different texture color I'm really excited about this next time I do this soup which could be really soon because if you think about it all the ingredients are pretty cheap next time I do this soup I'm going to um, boil potatoes on the side and I'm gonna cut I'm gonna slice and cut and uh, slice and cube and boil potatoes on the side and then after I put it through the immersion blender then I'm going to add the potatoes to the soup yummy ooh I could season I gotta put a seasoning in there with the potatoes though because when I bite through the potatoes I want them to have like little flavor bursts right he is begging me for some cauliflower. This that's what I usually do. I put the cauliflower back in here. That way he doesn't jock my nuts all night and day, day and night. Woo woo. The lonely soul that sees a grey is night and night. Woo woo. Day and night, day and night, 
Oh, sweet potatoes. I got sweet potatoes and ginger. Let's see what I make tomorrow. Or I might just have soup and make something on Wednesday. I'm tired. Oh, I got a text. Let's see who texted me. Ah, uh, I know. I, I like to come on here when I'm... Oh, okay. Oh, on Amazon? For sure. <sighs> so, we're doing an Airbnb, and I've been uh, cleaning up around the house. Yes, there's a little bit of... That's my art kit part of my art kit for my pouring uh, and my acrylic painting I just got into which I would love to yeah yeah I would love to do some painting tonight but I'm just tired already from from cooking my my healing medicinal meal <laughs> hmm but I didn't want to just drink vegetable broth so Something that might be good with this would be uh, avocado. And since I had my avocado in the fridge, it will also bring the temperature down of my soup so I can eat it faster, sooner, sooner than later. And I don't, I don't eat cheese, so th this to me seems like a meal that would be, um, that would be good with cheese. But I don't eat cheese, and um, avocado is my cheese substitute. Yes, it's plastic, but really great for travel. So that's going, and this matches it. It's going in my travel kit. Uh, uh oh. Ah, ooh. Avocados acting weird. Doop, doop, doo. Sweet. half the cotto in you, know, you could put it in the mason jar or whatever you have around I prefer doing it that way over saran wrap because saran wrap is less sustainable unless you're like constantly reusing it which I don't um, but that's me but where did the other part of my avocado go Honestly, just like going back and forth like this is like exhausting right now. <coughs> Del still thinks he's gonna get um get cauliflower, but and I did give him cauliflower so. He's just, he's just being a Dell, being a Delly, a Delly boy. Dale's being a Dale. Hello. Hello from the other side. I need some love by the To tell you I'm so. For everything that I've done, and you, you never. Where are you? 
fun anymore. <gasps> Guess what? It's fork tender. <laughs> Yay. So let's do this. Probably shouldn't plug it in before I inspect it. Okay, it looks clean enough to put in my food. looks creamy all right see could you imagine that with some some nice potato chunks in it mm. Mm. <laughs> yes awesome So, we're almost done here. It's only been an hour. But what have we achieved in that hour? I didn't put I didn't put that spoon back in there since I I, I want to share the soup but not my germs right now. Not right now. I'll save sharing my germs for another time. <laughs> so now all we need is a pretty bowl and you know what I picked this bowl right now because this is how 
I feel. And if I don't feel this way, this is how I want to feel. And he says, thankful. So, I'm gonna get a serving spoon of some sort. I guess I don't have a ladle. Just kidding. Check that puppy out. Del Rio. Oh, there's a BG is right here now. Del Rio is over here too. Oh yeah. This is where it's at right now. Oh yeah. Oh, and it's oh yeah. This is this is an awesome serving spoon. Look, it's got a dip on both sides. So if you're left or right-handed, you can pour it like that. What a smart design. So put that there, cover that, send a Marco Polo to my, my buddy, let him know that soup's on. And then so for the avocado, I cut it. I cut it up inside there. And now I'm gonna take my spoon. I'm gonna take my favorite spoon actually. Ugh. And throw it on the floor. <laughs> okay, favorite spoon, throw it on the floor. Wash it real fast. Any excuse to get my hands wet yet again. Make sure you use lotion if you wash your hands as much as I do. All right, so I cut the, I cut it inside there, but then I scoop it out. And so it's like slices. And that's how I slice it inside the avocado. Um, I guess that's not a new trick, but I've only been eating avocados for a few years, so, um, I think this is going to be delicious. Actually, I'll save a little bit of this avocado half. So, okay, the presentation isn't what I was, I wanted to present it in a pretty way for you before I sign off and eat this but one one more thing that i absolutely love to do and i need to make sure that i need to make sure i'm not eating too much salt because i didn't eat salt for a long time and i was like salt deficient or whatever but then i found this stuff the dough it like does something chemically it's so good so um, salt your avocado and take weird things out of your salt and then show your friends you being my friends so I will show you and then you sign off and find something to find somebody to have a good conversation with and eat or watch a comedy show and chillax you know which is what I'm gonna do. I've been getting into the catalog of uh, Third Rock from the Sun. Oh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, French Stewart. John Lithgow is amazing. I love Nina um, and Mary, Dr. Albright, the whole cast, Dubchag. Even, even Sally's like boyfriend and Sally, she's cool too. Her boyfriend done and then mrs. Dubchek's daughter's only been in, in like two episodes and I fell asleep watching the second one but that's because I'm I was I was like just hanging out like take a nap but have it on it's good vibes so I am gonna be watching the last episode of season two ah, while I do this or maybe I'll listen to motivational speaker but 
it might motivate me too much and I need to just like chillax, you know, like right now is not the time for me to watch like, like dance competitions and, and, uh, gymnastics. Cause those always get me all pumped up and stuff. And I just need to like take it easy and chillax. So here, let me show you the final product here do the avocado, the almond slices. Instead, I went with the avocado. Oh yeah, that's good. And you see how when you cut it in there and then you scoop it out, you can, you have your slices. Well, I want to say thank you so much for watching the show. Any portion of it, even if this is all you watched. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Thanks, thanks for being a friend. Subscribe, share, comment, like. Let me know any tips, anything that you saw that I could do better. Um, and by the way, this is gluten-free, dairy-free, oil-free, um, sugar-free, um, free of artificials, colors, dyes, um, sweeteners and preservatives and uh yeah so mm. Mm. that's